170 millimeter versus the previous 110. And hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Uh, today I'm just building this AOS Falcon 7. I'm putting this baby together because <clears throat> I like watching Falcon Rad FPV on YouTube and uh, Chris Rosser and he collaborated and built this frame. But that's not really what this is about. What this is about is I need to get this DJI 03 air unit into this frame, but um, the cable is not long enough. The actual air unit cable is not long enough to go all the way from the back where the 20 by 20 mounts are. Um, so I need to swap out this cable. So let's do that right now. Figured I'd just bring you along. And the cable we're talking about is from the 03 air unit to the 03 camera. Uh, and so I think this one, about 100 and 10 millimeters is the standard one. And then I got this one from Get FPV, I think, or Pyrodrone maybe. And this is longer. All right, so it looks like we're just gonna need some teeny tiny little screwdriver, a uh, little screwdriver head here. The back side of the air unit. These are Phillips head screws, which seems like a strange choice because, well, for one, that's just not common on any of this. FPV drone hardware and two you'd think you wouldn't want people to easily open this stuff up but I don't know it doesn't really matter either way I'm just making an observation so let's pull this out out if needed at the end there we go and that is what we're left with Looks like some sort of shielded pad right there. So I'm just going to gently but firmly kind of wiggle this and pull it out. Grabbing close to the base of the wires. There we go. And it's out. Cool, so now we have the old camera connected to that. Okay, here's the new one, the longer one. We're gonna connect this end into here. And we're just going to uh, line it up and we're just going to press it into place. I'm just going to use my fingernail to kind of push that metal bar down. It's not quite as, you know, positive of, of a connection as I would like. Um, but with this, <clears throat> with this little pad on here, that should work fine. Okay, we're going to put this back on here. We want to put that little tab into there and let it rock back down. And that's going to press on this ribbon cable. Go ahead and put the screws in. Now, these are such tiny screws, we really don't want to strip them out. So, we're going to rotate them backwards until we hear them kind of fall into place. Like that. And then, we're just going to tighten them down get over to our actual lens here. Here's the actual lens. Wow, look at that, so beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. All right, let's pop this baby open. So we have a screw on either side of the air unit, uh, excuse me, of the camera, and that should be what we need to take apart because I don't see anything else that can be taken apart. Okay, and this side. Okay, so I'm guessing this kind of slides apart. Yep. Okay, so that, ah, so that hole, let's see. Oh, interesting. Um, this part is a little trickier. So this is like a little rubber baffle on the inside. Well, let's remove this from the camera, first of all, by kind of pulling everything. I'm just gonna lift it up, it pops right off. Wow, look at that, look at all those pins. Amazing. I'm just kind of see if we can loosen this, kind of push it through. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I just broke the seal on that. So this is uh, this is just like a silicone kind of baffle thing. So that's not so bad. And then it is cut out. Okay, cool. So we can just pull that off of there. Ta-da! And then we can slide the housing through here. Kind of line that up, that's why it's shaped like that. Okay. Just kind of get it to get it 
through there. Boom. Now this is the part you have to remember. So you don't want to just slap your camera right on there because we got to put this, we got to put this through the back of the camera housing. So slide that through gently. Great. And then, then we can slide this baffle in place. Well, we could put, I guess we put it closer to the, this part. There we go. That's, yeah, that's a pretty good fit. Don't get. Ow, come on now. Better. Uh, so what I will do is connect this and then I think I'll put a tiny little bit of glue there. All right, now that we have that done, let's let's just press this into here. Line it up, press it in. There we go, you can kind of feel it and see it drop into place there. With uh, that in place connected to our camera and with a little bit of silicone added to uh, which will dry and keep the, 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 the baffle. The Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna kinda, kinda pull the cable a little bit just to sort of straighten it out as I press the back of the housing on, but it is quite fiddly. Okay, we're gonna put these super teeny tiny screws back in place. And just line that up. They're threaded though. Yeah, something's getting in the way actually. Silicone on my hands and uh, I don't want to get that on the lens. Okay, just snug them down. Ta-da! There you go, folks. You should be all set. Of course, you want to do a t you know test run and everything, and maybe even you know test it on the bench kind of before you put everything back together. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. So now we have a 170 millimeter uh, length versus the previous 110 and you would think like hey what's the big deal you know like it's just a tiny amount well with quadcopters it's already a tiny amount so <clears throat> to give you an idea i can put the vtx in the back here run the antenna out which really i'd like to run it in the front but that's kind of a separate thing that i'm working on uh run the vtx out the back and then we've got room for the antenna or for the camera. Uh, and in this case, it actually is going to extend out the front a little bit as well. So it's going to kind of, it's going to be about that distance. Like, yeah, about right about in there. So this is a perfect length for this uh, seven inch build. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope that was helpful. If you got any questions uh, or comments, leave them down below. And maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. Happy flying. Get out there and fly something. I'll see you again very soon. We get bars in our goggles that show